I want to close the gap. I want to close the diastema. And I know that when I apply, I know uh, by even by intuition that when I apply the force at the level of the crown, I'm not having in most of the cases a translation. I'm not closing the space like this. I'm closing the space like this. By intuition, we think, wow, I've seen somewhere that if I apply the force, line of action of force, if we even know what a line of action of force is, if I apply a higher force, I may cancel it. And what I see is this. Why is that? Because the center of resistance is the same in the same position. It's away from the line of action of the force. It's far from the line of action of the force. But if we are closing four millimeters, five millimeters, yes, it starts to make a difference. Let's try to uh, use our knowledge here of applying just one line of action of the force at the right. In this case, I can apply this using high hooks. I can make a high hook for that. And I touch this high hook. Uh, for example, let's, I'm, I'm gonna show you the clinical example of that. This is the right way to do things. If I want to have this translation, this is an example of a case in which I close the space of two uh, traumatized central incisor that I needed to extract, but I'm going to show you the case, how I did that, and then closing the space, closing the gap, closing the diastema,